here it comes. Severe weather is about to return in a major way. Now, when will this all go down? And what exactly are we expecting? We'll have all that and more in your forecast starting now. I'm gonna take off my glasses, psych. Let's first start by taking a look at what the United States looks like as of Palm Sunday. April 13th. Check out this cool swirl off the East Coast. That's actually a low pressure that's cranking these clouds offshore that's bringing some pretty cold air to the Northeast. Also some snow as well. We've got some high clouds and maybe a little bit of rain showers moving through the Midwest with the heart of the country being basically cloud free and beautiful. I don't think there's a cloud in the sky in the entire Southeast. Crazy. So when exactly is severe weather going to return? It's not gonna be today, Sunday, April 13th. We are expecting basically zero severe weather today. Now that's going to change tomorrow though. Check it out. We've got a slight risk here in Southeast Ohio, West Virginia, and Kentucky, where we could get some strong to severe storms tomorrow afternoon into the evening. We also have more severe weather to talk about towards the end of the week. We're going to hit on Monday first. I'm going to time it out, show you exactly what to expect, and then we'll get to the other risks later in the video. So let's zoom in here on Monday and see what we got going on. So the areas that I'm most concerned about for Monday are Columbus, Cincinnati, Charleston, West Virginia, even into Pittsburgh. Those are the biggest cities that are in this slight risk. And there's going to be a non-zero tornado threat with these storms. I think the greatest tornado threat is actually going to be along the southeast border of Ohio, where we do have this 5% risk for tornadoes. And there's going to be a couple of supercells tomorrow, and that will be something we need to watch. Cities like Pittsburgh and Charleston, as well as OU right along that Southeast Ohio border. You guys need to be ready for some strong storms tomorrow that could pack a punch maybe even a couple of tornadoes. Now the more widespread threat with these storms is gonna be the wind. We've got this 15% wind risk that goes from Columbus all the way through almost the entire state of West Virginia. And we've also got a decent hail threat as well. So all hazards are possible tomorrow. This is not gonna be a high end day. And let me show you why. Let's take a look at the radar for Monday. I'm gonna time this out hour by hour, show you exactly what to expect. This is Sunday night. We've got a warm front that's going through here that'll bring some very warm, moist, unstable air into Ohio, into Kentucky, and that'll be the catalyst for our storms Monday afternoon and evening. Let's go ahead and go to Monday afternoon. I'm gonna pause it here at 2 p.m. Right there is when we could have storms initiate in central Ohio. Those storms should fire up pretty quickly it could contain some gusty winds, some frequent lightning, maybe some small hail, but it's gonna take a second for them to get organized before they could actually produce a tornado. Going into Monday early evening, they really explode, and this is where they really take shape, right along the Ohio border into West Virginia. That is where the greatest tornado threat. So between about 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., for those in Southeast Ohio, heads up. Got some very strong storms on the way that could pack a bit of a punch. And zooming in here to West Virginia, watch as we go 5, 6, 7 p.m. These storms march on off to the east and check these out. We could have a couple of isolated supercells with large hail. Look at that hail core on this model. And those will continue slamming off to the east where they could even affect folks in Virginia and Washington, D.C., kind of the leftovers of that. Now looking at our tornado parameter, there's really not a lot there. So although tornadoes are possible, we're not expecting a widespread tornado outbreak, but do take any warnings you get tomorrow seriously. All right, we talked about Monday. Now, what's beyond that? Do we have any more severe weather? And the answer is yes. You guys have seen me showing you this diagram several times. This is the accumulated supercell parameter. All that means is the more red you got, the more likely severe weather is. And so this is April 20th through April 26th, or the end of this week going into next week, severe weather looks to make a major return. And batting second in the severe weather lineup is this risk on Thursday, April 17th. We've got a fairly small 15% risk from mainly Iowa, where some severe storms are possible. They gotta work out some of the details, but no, Iowa, Thursday, you're in the crosshairs. And on Friday, we've got this big 15% risk that goes from Detroit all the way through Texas. Stop what you're doing right now. Pick up your mouse in your hand just like this, throw it in the air, grab it again, hit the subscribe button and mash the like button and leave a comment below. Look, someone's leaving a comment. This video is so cool. Wow. Back to you, Stormcat. Now here's what the risks for Thursday and Friday are going to look like. This is kind of a simulated radar. The green, that's rain. The blue, that's snow. 
So check it out. As we go into Thursday midday, got a warm front that's pushing warm, moist air. And along that warm front, you'll have some storms form. And that is your signal for severe weather around Iowa, possibly into Missouri on Thursday. We're about six days away from this. But what I can tell you is at this point, everything, including tornadoes, hail, and wind, are all at play. Now going into Friday, something really interesting happens. So by Friday afternoon and evening, you're going to have a stalled front that basically goes from Detroit, Michigan, all the way through Texas. You're going to have warm, moist air streaming up from the Gulf. You're going to have cooler air on the backside that's wrapping around. Where those two collide, that's a stationary front, and that will be the focal point for a lot of our storms on Friday. That's why you have a, such a big, long area of storms possible over such a large region. And this is crazy. I didn't even change my drawing here. I just switched to the map, and that is exactly where that front is. You've got this really cold air up to the north. You've got this more moist air coming up from the south. Where that collides, that is your station in front. That's crazy. I didn't even do that on purpose. That was by accident. That's epic. I'm so good. Storm cap five. Nose is <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on quickly. Beyond Friday, we are going to have more severe weather risks the next week, the last week of April. As you'll notice, we were in a ridge pattern. Now we are in a trough pattern out to the west. You're going to have trough after trough that moves off the mountains and into the plains. And that will be your catalyst for a lot of severe weather the last week of April going into the first week of May. And that's exactly what this forecast shows you. This is for April 27th through May 3rd. Once again, if you see this scary red color, that is a big signal for severe weather on the plains, the western plains, places like Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, that really haven't gotten a lot of severe weather so far. So it looks like it's their turn. Dixie Alley, fortunately, looks like you're gonna get a break. And this is just in time for the Stormfront Freaks official chase week. And as a reminder, the Stormfront Freaks are going chasing the first week of May, so that's May 3rd through about May 8th. All you storm chasers that are gonna be out on the plains, we'll be there, we'll see you there. We're also gonna be live streaming the whole thing. We've got some epic partnerships this year. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so that when we do go live, when we are storm chasing, you're the first to know. I think this picture speaks for itself. We've got Easter week coming up. We've got severe weather expected on Good Friday. So if you are gonna be celebrating Easter, gonna be celebrating Holy Week or going to any church service, this week just know severe weather is possible this cat right here looks miserable but he wants you to know he's trying to remind you to be weather aware this week all right guys well that about does it for today from this cat and all of us here at the stormfront freaks thank you for watching us as always i'm serious this week you better do it i want you to find someone give them a big hug and tell them you love them spread some love someone that needs it this week that's your Stormcat challenge. And that is all I got. This is Stormcat 5. And I will see you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>